Hey guys, welcome to another Unity 5 tutorial today, and this is going to be showing you how to produce yourself or make an ice shader, and this will be an asset that we're going to use from the store, which is completely free. It's a, it's a really good shader and looks quite realistic and nice, and there's a lot of different settings with it. So, without further ado, what we can do is we can go, if when you're in Unity or outside of Unity, go to the asset store, usually you've got a tab there. You can go to the search bar and you can type in ice shader and what I normally like to do is there's other ice shaders available but if you filter by free only you can see that it's the ice shader I did show this in one of my other videos for the top 10 assets but all we need to do is you need to click download and you can press import and then you get a selection of things within what you want to bring with it you don't have to bring everything with it you don't need the skybox and the things that's just for you know the test scenes and whatnot but for the sake of this I'm just going to import all the assets into a new scene and once we've done that you will see it at the bottom in the actual project panel and you will see it here and we can open up the scene and we can go to say the frozen sushi shop and you can see a bunch of the actual assets working in their current state so you can apply this you know shared to any particular material that you might have within your game you can create various different levels of sort of ice whether it's um, ice from a cube or a glass bottle which might be slightly frosted and you can create various different things if I give you a pure example and um, we go to game object 3d object and cube and I've created a new cube here I'll just scale it up so you can see it really big so you can see it there and with the um, actual asset we only really need the shader so what you could potentially do is right click create and choose to create a new material I've just called it ice cube 2 we can go up to the top which is the shader we can switch it from standard to the one toward the middle which is or Lanigan or however you um, choose to pronounce it and you can choose um, glass or ice break they're both fairly similar but you might want to just test each different instance so if we choose ice break for instance um, I've already applied this material to my cube and you can see it's already applied some sort of um, um, ice normal maps and things like that to it you can increase the say the metallic value because when we get sort of a reflective um, almost a glassy surface like ice is um, it's usually quite reflective we can increase the the gloss amount and you'll get gloss you can see it actually on the shader here um, you can actually um, increase the ice fresnel and then you will be able to start by seeing through the actual ice itself which gives some distortion to the things that are there you can increase or decrease the transparency depending on how you make it or maybe want it to look you can um, adjust the freeze effect so you see how frozen that the material is on and or how little you might want it and you can increase the amount of snow effect that you might have in areas where um, you've got the missing parts of the ice and you can of course change the color and things like that so you could have some sort of colored ice or something like that it doesn't work uh, fantastic on a cube uh, it's not great but that's just an example of just setting up a really simple material and you can adjust any of the parameters where you need to uh, um, remove the normal max maps or change them to your own and you know just adjust the settings accordingly so you can just give it a mess around and see what you want to make so again this is just a simple way I'm um, using this really good asset from the asset store. So thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.